Alright, there you go, Mark. Um, just a quick follow up on the signal noise thing. Um, or cyanide in this case, because I'm using the cyanide method. Right, what I've got is um, an old ESO, it's an FT208R. It's a VHF handheld. Um, it's on 2 meters, as you can see by the frequency, I think. Uh, 145-500. Now, according to the specs, I'll try and show you where I'm not, uh, too confident. Um, receiver, receiver sensitivity should be. There we are, receiver. Oh, there you go, sensitivity. Um, for 12 dB sign, that should be uh, better than. And that's the bit you need to watch, better than. Uh, look. Better than 2.5 microvolts. For 12 dB cyanide. Right, economy cyanide meter there. And the level says on the bottom scale 12 dB. It's more or less spot on, isn't it? 12 dB cyanide. And economy, um, there's a frequency 145500. There you go, according to the, uh, the level in microvolts on my signal generator. It's 0.26 microvolts for 12 dB signal, which for a, I mean, you know, it is slightly out. Obviously, it's not sort of bang on that specification in the book, but it's near enough. Certainly, certainly for a for a 30 year old radio, it's not bad going. Um, but I mean, uh, you know, see, you can see there compared to uh, compared to the spec, it's it's more or less. It's smaller spot. It's, not, it's certainly not worth faffing about having to retune that to, to make it um, to make it better than that. I mean, that's uh, that's as close as you're ever going to get, really. And I just don't think it's worth it. There's, there's certainly no mileage in faffing on um, retuning that to make that any better. But uh, but there you go. Just a, a, a quick update there to um, to show that the that you know, even though it's not exactly the same as the book. Which says better than for sensitivity, um, and that, as I say, that's the bit you've got to watch. It never, it never says, it, it hardly ever says that it's going to be exactly uh, 0.25 microvolts. It just says better than, which probably, you know, if this thing was was tuned to the hilt, it probably would would be better than. Uh, you, 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 you might get a um, a level of say uh, uh, 0.2 microvolt. Um, for 12 dB signing, but to be, to be fair, it's not worth the the, the hassle and effort of, uh, of making that any better. It's just it's probably what it was when, they, when it came to the factory. And as I say, 30 years later, it's still it's still more or less bang on spec. You know, there's there's, there's hardly any difference in it whatsoever. Um, but there you go. Anyway, that's uh, as I say, that's just a, a, a quick uh, a quick follow up. And I mean, there's no signal meter on this thing, so you you, you know you you couldn't uh, follow the signal meter there. To tune it up anyway, you'd have to you'd have to stick a sound meter in, or a, or, or use the signal to noise method to to, to see how sensitive it was and how well it re was receiving. Because as I say, there's just no um, turn the noise down a bit. There's just no uh, signal meter there to follow anyway. So a classic example of um, of why you need to of why you need to. Um, uh, not taking any notice of signal meters and just uh, and, go, and go for the, uh, the signal to noise or cyanide method of um, checking receiver sensitivity. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.